Good day, my friends. Embra Jackson bringing you another message from First United Methodist Church, Tupelo. Let us bow our heads for our devotion. Dear God, again, we thank you for this day, for your many blessings. Continue to watch over us. Give us the strength and courage to do your will. This we ask in thy name. Amen. I'd like to share a very familiar passage of scripture with us this morning from the Gospel of John, beginning at verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. In today's society, today's world, darkness seems to be overcoming the light. There's political discord, religious discord, racial discord, gender discord. On nearly every hand, there seems to be conflict. And for some, it appears as if darkness is winning and evil is taking over the world. We have so many diseases that we've never heard of before until very recently. The most recent being COVID-19. And it looks like we are being punished for something that humanity has done. But the word today is that Paul, I'm sorry, John says, the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. I have come today to share with you, to share with us, that there is still a light shining in the world today. And that light is the light of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God will allow Jesus Christ's light to shine even in the midst of this pandemic, even in the midst of all of the trials and tribulations and struggles that we go through. God will allow Jesus Christ's light to continue to shine even if we cannot see it from time to time, even if it appears to be very dim. God is still God and sitting high on the throne. And the light of Jesus Christ is still shining for us. I don't know about you, but today, even in the midst of all of my trials, all of my tribulations, all of my struggles, I am excited that I'm a Christian. I'm excited that I follow Jesus Christ and that Jesus is able to take me over and through all situations, and the light of Christ will continue to shine. Don't let anybody put out your light. And as Fannie Lou Hamer would sing many years ago, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let your light shine in the world today. May God bless each and every one of you. Amen, amen, and amen.